Hello, my name is Rapid Bestic and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And I've gathered some chlorine, uh, not too much of it, a little bit. There's two stacks of 500 in the starship, and there are there is 300 here in my backpack. Now I did get a pulse engine module from one of those uh, broken modules, uh, the ones you repair. I just decided to repair one. I was like, yeah, you know what, free nanite clusters, why not? Then all of a sudden, I got a module. Now the other thing that I did was while farming all these blue crystals, these lovely, lovely blue crystals, I scanned a lot of animals and actually got the this planet completed. Which was a happy accident, I suppose you could say. Five species, 250 extra nanite clusters. Everything is scanned that needs to be scanned, at the very least the animals are. Now, I'm just waiting for the sentry to move along because there's mutant plants here. Now, normally I wouldn't touch these. My ship is sort of close by though. Rambler, okay. I'm not entirely sure. Primarily, primary element oxygen. Okay, so these are oxygen plants. The thing is though, if I attack them, they're gonna spawn sentries, I think. I don't really remember that much. But even if they don't, there's a sentinel nearby, so... Hmm. Not gonna do it. So, at this point, I actually need to find... I need to find a trade outpost. Anything, anywhere that I can actually sell stuff. Because I need to actually unload the chlorine. I don't want to go to the space station. I just want to find a trade outpost. Or a, minor, or a minor settlement. Let's see what we find. A drop pod could be good as well. That is a... What is that? Trading post, okay. Uh, okay, yeah, good thing I didn't look tall. Almost forgot. <laughs> Let's take no booster again. Okay. So, the pulse engines I'm actually not going to be installing, at least not on this ship. It's not needed. Probably won't be for a while. Now, as soon as I sell off the chlorine here, I'm not going to be able to sell off any more chlorine, because the price is going to drop. Okay, give me antimatter, please. And I don't need navigation data anymore. I actually destroyed three. Antimatter housing, not bad. I guess I will build a warp cell. And quickly refuel. Oh, we have one jump. Okay, we're gonna have two, I guess. I just want to empty the slots so they're not being taken. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna need to get all the chlorine into one place. It's like right over there. Why is it out of range? Because I believe I have yeah, 300 here. I don't need a dehydrogen that much. This one can go. I don't need a projectile ammunition. I just don't. This is a peaceful permadeath run. It will have no aggression in it. Okay, salt from the starship. Okay. Oh, the price is horrible. Yep, definitely horrible price. Thing is that I cannot keep it. The chlorine, I just can't keep it. That's the issue that I have. Because I need the room. I guess I could temporarily keep it. I could just mark down this world. I I think I already yeah. I already uploaded it. It's oh boy. Because I actually wanted to go for a couple of these natural burial sites. I guess we can go for a little bit of them. Not for too many, though. It's because uh, a stack of chlorine is 150,000 here, on this world. On another world, it might be a little bit more. Because we're selling in larger quantities, it's actually better to look for a better price. But, if you're going to be selling a stack for 150,000, you might as well be going for some natural burial sites as well. Because normally those go for around 100,000 each. 
And you can get more than one per site. Which we are about to... Okay, that's actually kind of far away. That's very far down, okay. 745, 43, 40, 30... 27, 25, 20, okay. Okay, it's around here. That's still kind of far down. Eleven. And it is where is it? It vanished. Ah, I hate it when this happens. Okay. I found it. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, we actually found a rare one. It's gonna be, what, 500,000? Okay. Got lucky. Um, hmm. Where's my ship? Oh, over there. I'm just gonna go, um... Dig from here. I'd rather not risk another falling down, so... Even though that was more of a beam down... Hmm. Okay, come on, keep digging. Oh. Wow, okay. Still not up, eh? I'm gonna dig a hole like this, just so I don't move too far away from my ship. Okay, come on. Okay. Got teleported again. That was weird. The teleportation thing is kind of weird. It bugs me sometimes, but not always. As long as it, uh, it, I don't die, it's fine. Natural burial site, let's go. Of course. Oh, of course there's no launch fuel. As you can see, we're back to 20 launch fuel. It's because of the crystals. The blue crystals are dehydrogen and chlorine, mostly chlorine, but you get a lot of dehydrogen from them as well. And I had, I actually threw away, I believe, more than a stack, and I used a stack to make five extra starship launcher fuel. I mean, the only thing you need on this planet is a bit of ferrite dust and you can potentially take off and land as many times as you want. I hate this sliding down because I kind of have a feeling that as soon as the slide is finished I'm gonna just die. Okay, yellow partial skeleton. Okay, there's more burial sites. We're gonna explore a lot of them. Maybe not a lot. I really shouldn't tell what I'm gonna do because I normally change my mind like two minutes afterwards. As you can see, 180,000. Of course, again, the value depends on the planet. Not just the planet. Uh, the solar system, sorry. But because I'm not selling too many of them, taking a hit for like 10,000 just so I can clear up some inventory space is fine. But when you're taking a hit of like a hundred thousand or more, it's it's better to actually sell them somewhere else. Yeah. There's two here, as you can see. It's actually kind of co common for them to be in batches of three or four. So the inventory actually gets filled up kind of quick with these ancient bones. And of course the sentinels don't care if you're digging up bones. And nearby. Oh, that one's nearby. Life support power is not actually that low. I'm gonna... No, I'm actually going to... Uh, get this on 5. Just so I don't have to go in the uh, inventory every single time. Because we're gonna be taking off and landing frequently. So I'm gonna be doing that a lot. We can land over here. Again, you don't want to land too close to the natural burial sites. Same with the deposits, mineral deposits. 
so you can actually dig there. Because if you land too close, you're not going to be able to dig there. There's only one here. But never mind, there's two. Three, actually. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is a big skeleton. Is it going to be a rare one? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's see. I keep forgetting that it's tab for the inventory. 1.7? 1.3, okay. Uh, navigation data. Do I need so much of it? I have some extra ionized cobalt, but I might throw it away in favor of some money. Not might, probably will when it comes to it. There's some over there, let's go there. So all in all, I might actually get... If I get one or two more rare ones, that's enough to buy the ship that I want. Which is a ship with 29 slots. Afterwards, we're actually going to be looking to outfit the ship. As soon as we have that settled, we're going to be looking for multi-tools and a freighter. Not necessarily in that order. Okay, so... I actually never noticed that small bones mean common items and big bones mean rarer items. It's the first time I'm making this observation. Humming eggs, but we don't care about humming eggs. I'm gonna risk a scan, even though it's gonna take like 5 minutes for it to recharge. Which is still something I don't understand why it's in permadeath. I, I just don't. Do I have any more normal carbon? No, that's all my carbon. Okay. I guess I have to actually just land somewhere else. I did it on five. No. Okay. I'm gonna land over there. Seems like it. Oh, nope, actually over here. I like this spot. And we're landing. Let's see. Yeah, I landed relatively close to one natural burial site. There's floating crystals nearby. Do I care though? There could be sodium nitrate, but they're close to the natural burial site, so... I'll just look at them from there. There they are. I don't want to land next to the cave, just just in case it drops me there. Find here. Okay. Only one, maybe it's a big... no it's not. Apparently the small ones can have rares as well. Okay, so... Bigger does not mean better. Mm. It's only 500,000, but um, I'm saying that like I'm disappointed, I'm not. Trust me, I am not disappointed. I'm still gonna need to free up some room though. I gathered the sodium so I can recharge the hazard protection while I was farming the chlorine so I don't have to go back into the ship. I still don't want to get rid of it though. How much navigation do I have? I have five, I guess I can get rid of five. Carbon. I can always get more. I don't need this much dehydrogen. So all in all I did free up some room. Not this, don't move this. Three more. And afterwards, I'll have to unload them. So afterwards, we're gonna be going back to the trading outpost. Unloading, and then... I don't know, are we repeating? I guess it depends on how much money we have. Hmm. The coin, though, I'm still not gonna sell that. We'll see how much it goes for on the next station. Okay, there's two here. Okay, not a rare one. Not a rare one. I can get one more, right? I'm pretty sure I have one more spot left. Yep, exactly one more. 
Afterwards, I have to find the training outpost again. Over there. Okay. I should really kill some creatures, by the way, for more diet. Just so I can talk to Viking. Uh, not talk to them, you can always talk to them. And the game just crashed. Oh, great. And we're loading again. Okay, so, uh, Red Mask, the developer of the, um, the mod, did mention that there have been a couple of updates regarding this crashed desktop. Now, I am running the, I believe the latest version? But I actually re very recently read in one of his comments that there might be a newer version. I'm, mm, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna check out again, just just in case. Now, this is something that's common. Not in the mod, in the game in general. You'd be surprised. I've crashed the desktop several times in the normal game, and I have no idea why. Actually, I believe it was even in one of my episodes in the. Um, the base building episode, the big base building episode, the part, the three part base building episode. I crashed like three, two, three or four times there. It's absolutely normal for this game. It doesn't wreck your save or anything because you tend to save often because you're always close to your ship. It's rare that you're not going to save that often. So it's fine. But I will check the updated version. I think there might be one. What happens? Ooh, rare. And I need to make one more room, so goodbye, ionized cobalt. We can go here. Come on, rare. Nope. Now let's go back to the uh, trade outpost. Where is it? Now, it's hard to find them, which is really annoying in this game. You actually have to build a beacon there and painted so that you can actually find a trade outpost. No, that's a resource depot. I don't care. Can't find it. It's just kind of annoying and hard. You have to scan through the whole area again. Really, why is it showing up? It should be showing up. They normally show up. Okay, let's scan. It might show up now. Hmm. Cobalt, health, right, technology. I don't really remember from where we left it off, so. Mm -hmm. It was somewhere around there, I guess. Possibly. Okay. Not finding it. Uh, let's do a quick scan for her, um, for nearby structures. Hopefully, this will actually find it, or at the very least, I'll get an aerial view so I can I can possibly see it. The clouds are annoying, getting in the way, but I think I saw something. What is that? Transmission tower? No, that's I saw something over there. Yeah, the five works, but the three won't. For some reason, the um, when I when I put the uh, launch thruster refueling on a button, it works. When I put the multi tool one, the terraform one, it doesn't. So I think I saw something over here. I could be horribly wrong. I probably am. Let's do a scan quickly. Maybe that's the one. Unknown building. That was not the one. Might as well go to it though. Okay, that's that's not something we wanted. I see the transmission tower over there now. Why isn't it showing up? It should be showing up. They normally show up. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, let's go a bit higher up. I might be able to see it. Alright, we're way too high up. It's very misty.
Okay. Maybe I should just scan for habitable. I don't really mind that much using the uh, navigation data. Yeah, I think I should scan. What is that thing? Oh, I think we've seen one of these before. I think this might be the exact same one we were at, actually. I believe I charted this one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I charted this one. Nope, this is not the one I charted. Let me quickly scan through the area. There's more natural burial sites, which I do want to visit. Uh, really, I can't see it. It's annoying. That's a transmission tower, no. That's really annoying! Scan for habitable again. Input data and habitable. Hopefully this finds it. Can't really see anything from here up here. Observatory. Oh boy. I really should have built a beacon. I didn't want to because a beacon is... Is it expensive? Yeah, microprocessors. That's why I didn't want to build a beacon. I should have, but I didn't. I definitely should have. Oh, this is getting annoying. It's not even showing up, yeah. And because everything looks the same on this planet, I don't know where I am. Come on, just please randomly stumble onto it. Somehow. Let's go a bit higher up. Nope. I see nothing. I know nothing. And... I don't want to sell them on the space station, that's the thing. I guess I could go towards the observatory. Maybe I'll have better luck scanning there. And this is... Again, really. And yeah, we're back. Okay, so I did quickly actually uh, check. Redmask did warn me about this. Apparently there is a new update. And I might have skimmed over it. Oops. It happens, but I did do a very, very quick scan. And I did find a trading outpost. Which is good. And we're gonna go quickly there, unload. And afterwards, I'm gonna end up the episode because the crashing all of a sudden. I don't know what's happening. Eh, well, you know what? It's fine. I like the mod way too much. It's worth the occasional crash, like once in a blue moon. It's been like 20 something episodes. And. These have been the first cup crashes. So, you know, you can't be mad at that. Alrighty. Well, there's more natural barrel sites here as well. Let's see. Let's sell all our stuff. Most of our stuff. I have a thousand dehydrogen jelly. Right, so plus 21, so that's a good price. The rare ones, I'm not really getting too good of a price, but I don't want to keep them because I'm planning on going for a couple of more excavations. Come on. Okay, 10 million. That's good. For a second, I was like, wait a minute, why are my units not going up? At this point, I might actually just sell the chlorine. The price is slightly better. Negative 10.8. I might, I should, because it's taking up a lot of room. If I'm planning on doing extra excavations, I should have that room. Drop pod location data. Hmm. It's a good price for it. I'm gonna buy two. Three. Three. I'm gonna buy three. 69.5 million. No, <gasps> 18.2. Oh no, I want you. No, no, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Oh no. 
Well, I didn't have the money to buy it anyway, but still. I will actually build a beacon here, right now, on camera. I'm gonna save this ad post because... I guess next episode, as soon as I'm done with the farming, we're gonna eat 17 million? I will try and buy that ship. The um, microprocess... Oh, please tell me they're, they're selling microprocessors. Okay, good. Okay, so one way to do it is uh, color the beacon. Doesn't matter what you pick, just black and yellow? No, red. Red. Red is a uh, color that I will be able to relatively easily pick up on. Oh, I'm missing metal plating and iron batteries. Of course I am. Buy one metal plating and two iron batteries quickly. Mm, two of these. And a single metal plating. Is it on red? It is. In place it here. Now it's just gonna pop up into my screen. It's big and it's red. It's gonna be easy to spot from a mile away. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna look for that ship again. 29 plus 5 was it for 16 million? 28 plus 5 for 13 million. It's an equal that was an S class though. 29 plus 5 for 15 million. Okay, this uh, outpost, this planet, this system, because they're system based ships. As good ships. This is a Viking world, right? No, this is a Corvax world. That's weird. Hmm. Huh. Anyway, my name has been Rampant Mystic. Hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky. I do hope to see you all in the next one.